today we will learn how to check planetary response, what are the types of various planetary response and what are the planetary equivalent. So, before doing the planetary response, there are some prerequisites that, uh, that must be checked before doing the actual procedure. So, what are the prerequisites of planetary response? So, number one, you should check the sensitivity of the soul actually, whether there is any neuropathy or not. So, as the baby is perceiving the response, it is the secondary function of the soul is intact. So, whether there is any neuropathy of the soul or peripheral neuropathy present or not, you should check. Number one, second thing you should check is thickness of the soul. So, always check the thickness of the soul, how much thick the skin is. Depending on the level of thickness, the intensity of the stroke must be changed. If it is thick, your stroke should be uh, deeper or calm. If it is very thin soul, then the stroke must be lighter. So, check the sensitivity and whether there is any peripheral neuropathy, then check the thickness of the soul. Then check the temperature of the soul. If it is a cold fish, if the patient is in cold environment or the soul is cold, then make it warm by rubbing with your palm. So you have to make the soul warm before doing the procedure. Next thing is you have to check whether there is any deformity of the stone, red stone, or whether there is any rigidity of the stone, like halax. Halus rigida or any deformity like halus valgus or halus veras deformity because this deformity can affect your examination finally. Another thing you should check the power of the extensor halosis longus. We have to check the power of this extensor halosis longer stem. So, and another thing, very important thing, always check with the key and in the lateral aspect of this soul actually. So, keep your left hand just above the ankle to stabilize. Then, with this key, you have to stroke from along the lateral border from heel towards the small toe just below the base of the fingers then medially up to just before reaching the ball of the great toe like this fashion hockey stick fashion so like this so see the response so this is the response okay so now i am again doing the same thing just see the response there is dot c flexion or extension of the great toe along with fanning of the fingers, dorsiflexion of the ankle, there was also flexion of the knee and the hip. So as you are having this is extension of the response also for Babinski sign. So again I am eliciting the response see the Babinski sign. So this is Babinski sign, extension response fanning out along with flexion of the ankle, knee and hip joint. So what are the components of normal plantar response? Normal plantar response, there should be flexion of the, all these five toes should be flexed in normal response. Allowing there should be dorsiflexion, inversion of the foot and there is some degree of contraction of the tensor dorsalitis muscle and adductor long, longus muscle. And in the extensor response, this great toe dorsiflex, uh, there is extension of the great toe, there is fanning of these small toes actually, there is dorsiflexion, there is flexion of the knee and there is flexion of the heel and there can be flexor of uh, contraction of tensor of the rest. So this is the extension of Babinski response. What can be the other response? One can be negative response or no response. Means no movement is free after stroking. There can be equilibrial response. That means some part of the positive response or flexor response, some of the negative. Suppose, uh, suppose there is flexion of the great toe fanning of this four finger. That means this, this can be considered an equivocal response. And in case of anxiety or in case of hyperactivity of the soul, there can be withdrawal of the limb. Suppose whenever I am 
stroking, stroking there is withdrawal, sudden withdrawal. So this is called withdrawal response. So normal is flexor response, second is bending speed or extensor response, third is equivocal response, fourth is low response, fifth is withdrawal response. And this bending speed is usually seen in pyramidal strap mission, even type of mission. It can be also seen in children less than one year of the age because of because of maturity, less maturity of the pyramidal tract because of demyelination defect actually it can be seen in deep sedation, deep coma, deep sleep, use of sedative, narcotic after any generalized uh, tonic, tonic seizure or DTCS after electroconvulsive therapy, any hypoglycemic coma, any metabolic encephalopathy. So in this case, Bagging speed response sign or uh, extensor plantar response is seen. Now, how can you reinforce if the plantar response is absent? Suppose whenever you are checking the plantar response of the this leaf, you can reinforce the plantar by either applying pressure on the knee. So you can apply pressure on the knee, again check the response. So this is for reinforcement. This is one method. Another is you can towards opposite direction. Suppose you are checking on the left limb, so you can move the patient head in opposite direction. So this is another method. Again, the third is, third is you can make the skull warm if it is cold. So by this, by this three possibilities, uh, warming the soul by applying pressure on the knee, but turning the head into opposite side, you can reinforce the plantar response test. Now, what are the plantar equivalent? Equivalent. So, by other than conventional procedure, how can you elicit the plantar response? This is called plantar equivalent. So, there are several methods. So, I will demonstrate one by one. So, first is first is so first is Gordon. What is Gordon? So, Gordon, if you squeeze the calf muscle, there will be same response plantar response again. So, I am squeezing the calf muscles. So, now I am squeezing the calf muscles. See the response? Again, same Babinski response. I have, I have, actually I have already shown. See the response again. I am squeezing. See the response. Same, uh, same uh, dorsiflexion, sorry, dorsiflexion of the great toe and with flexion of these joints. So, this is called squeezing the Calf muscles and seeing the res plantar response is called Gordon sign. Then second sign is called Schoffer sign. Schoffer is you have to press the tendo Achilles. So this is tendo Achilles. So you have to squeeze. So I am holding the tendo Achilles. Now squeeze. See the response. See the response. Same response. Dorsiflexion, flexion of the ankle and flexion of the knee. Means so Gordon is Gordon is squeezing the calf muscle and this squeeze, uh, applying pressure or this pressing the tendo Achilles is shopper sign, the open hand sign, in open hand sign, so this is leg, this is actually here is bone tibia and this is medial surface of the tibia, so if you stroke medial surface there will be same response, this is called open hand response, now just see, I am pressing, pressing that same response, just see, the movement of the great toe you have to check. So I am see the there is dorsiflexion along with see the movement. See from this side. So I am again applying pressure. See the response. There, there, and there. It is equivalent. So this is called open hand sign. Another three to four sign is there. One is called Chadox sign. In Chadox sign, you have to stroke on the dorsal aspect of not on the plantar surface dorsal surface from this lateral manulus towards the small toe so you have to stroke like this see the response again same response so this is called chad off so i'm doing it again this is chad off opposite is reverse chad off means you have to move stroke from small toe to manulus this is reverse chad off so till now i have demonstrated five one is squeezing the calf muscle, that is called water. Then pressing the tendo achilles, that is called shopper. 
then by the time I have, I have applied pressure over the sheet for medial aspect of tibia that was open hand sign then shed off from lateral mandibular toward small toes on the dorsal aspect that is shed off and reverse shed off in the opposite direction now some difference like B in front or how to say B so B in is you have to give some pain stimulus with the sharp end of the pin on the dorsal aspect like this in the response there is dorsiflexion flexion of the knee ankle hip again same response so this is see the response this is b this is the right in the morning sign morning is actually sudden plantar flexion of the feet on sudden plantar flexion of the ankle joint there will be similar response suppose if you make sudden plantar flexion see there is dorsiflexion and slight flexion of the knee ankle so this is morning sign And what is gonda? Gonda actually, if you stretch the second or fourth rib to distal part, there may be similar response. So this is called gonda. So suppose this is normal. So I am stretching. See the response. There is some dorsiflexion. There is flexion of the ankle and the knee joint. Again, I am. This is normal. So this is this is normal. Now I am stretching the. Put to see the response. So the same response. So this is called Gonda sign. So being Gonda and Moni. Distal reflex. If the uh, great toe is amputated, in some individual because the injury the great toe may be amputated. In that case, if you do the plantar response in the same side, means in the lateral aspect in this region, lateral aspect of the sole. Like hockey stick fashion, so you have to stop here just before the ball of great toe. There will be as the great toe contracts, you have to check the contraction of tensor muscle muscle. So that is how brief or specific it is. So this is all about plantar response. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for next videos.